It's so windy and cold and dark. What the hell? I gotta hurry up to video. Because it's so cold, but my mom was home for two days and so it's kind of annoying. On March 6th, 2018. Uh, but I just wanted to say that YouTubers, stop deleting your videos. What's the point of uploading your videos if it, in the end you're just going to delete it? What's the point of working your ass off, making the video, recording it, editing it, uploading it if you're just going to delete it after a few minutes or hours or whatever because it's kind of annoying to deal with. And is it going to snow? Because it looks like I see a little snow flurry. It's like, what the fuck? It's not supposed to. I hope you can hear me over the wind, but it's just getting on my nerves because now I see why people camp out on your videos when you have set schedules of when your videos come out because they're afraid that maybe in a few minute, hours or the next day when you go to watch the video, it's going to be deleted. Don't you know that if you turn on the bell and people want to see your video and they get notifications of your videos being out and they check it and then they click on it and it says oh this video has been removed by the user by the owner like what the fuck it's deleted by the owner why did you do that I don't understand why would you delete that because your subs are gonna know about it and your subs are gonna be pissed off that you did that so now I see why people go, I camped out for this video. Oh my god, a 3 a.m. video. Oh my god. I stayed up this long. And then I always have to tell people, you don't need to camp out on their videos. Their video, it's not like they're going to delete their videos in two hours. Or, in, or a couple of minutes or whatever. They're just going to, I don't know, my, my battery's about to die, but it's not like they're going to be like, deleting. But now that I've seen a couple people delete their videos for no reason and not even let us know on Twitter or whatever. Yeah, I see why people camp out. I'm gonna go inside. But please don't snow. So, hi everyone, my cat's here watching well, Seven Heaven, um, season eight, and Valentine, you know, Danny Duncan's girlfriend, Valentine made a video called maybe you hadn't seen the whole picture where she talks about you only see seven to ten minutes of their day and you guys complain about certain things they do in their vlog that you don't see behind the scenes of and you guys don't understand basically what i'm saying is they what she is saying is People in the vlogs are like begging her and keep commenting about what do you do for work, why are you not working, are you going back to your old job, things like that, and the battery's about to die. But also you guys are like, why do you always, why are you guys always holding Carter, he doesn't need to be held 24-7. One thing you don't do to a YouTuber is tell them how to parent. Te teaching them how to parent their kid. They know what the hell they're doing. They know how to take care of their kid. They don't need you. They didn't ask for your input. They didn't ask you to help them out on how to take care of the kid. They're not Corey Williams, S&P Films, live each day. They're not Kristen and they're not Corey. Only, you can only do that to Kristen and Chloe because they don't know what they're doing as taking care of a kid and they asked. 
since we're first time parents and we don't know what we're doing, help us out so that we can learn. Now that you help them out, they are grateful. They even say in the vlogs how happy they are that you've helped them out and that you teach them how to be parents. They love it. But a lot of YouTubers don't. Even when the Shade Tard used to vlog, and yes, I know it's been a year and they said they're only taking a year off. I told you all time and time again, you can watch old videos, find them, whatever. But I said it in the goodbye to the Shade Tards because when Shay said, oh, I'm just going to vlog for 360 days and see what happens. And then he ended up vlogging for seven years, ten years, whatever. And then I said, once his birthday comes around after a year, I guarantee he's going to like it way too much. And he's not going to vlog again. And I even tweeted about it saying, I knew the Shay Tards wouldn't come back after a year. And I was right. They're not back on YouTube. They're not vlogging anymore. But when they were vlogging, you guys were always telling Call, call Kitty Let, Call It, Shay, how to parent their five kids when they know what the hell they're doing. They've they had five kids. I think they know what to do. Yeah, they may miss here and there that. A kid doesn't have a seatbelt on or something like that. But, but you yelling at them about it is just, it just makes people stop vlogging. It makes people not want to be YouTubers anymore because you nitpick at every little thing they do. And what YouTubers need to start doing, I don't care if you need them for the views or every comment that you get, you get higher up on the ratings and all this other stuff. So what you don't need all that negativity if someone's giving you and being a troll or being mean or being a hater to you block them then you'll never have to deal with that again from that person and the more or just delete the comment because the more you leave the bad comments up there the more people will be like oh a lot of people in the comment section are being mean so it's okay if i'm being mean too because they're not going to do nothing about it but if you delete it then people will be like, oh, a lot of people are being nice to this YouTuber. I don't want to be mean, even though I think they're being, they're not doing this and this right in their vlog. They're holding Carter way too much. I want to tell them that, but there's so many nice comments. I can't be mean. And then they won't leave it. Point blank. That's why I do it. But, that's just me. Okay, we'll bet. Now that battery's finally died but in my opinion is people just judge people you think that youtubers are just like tv people and they're actors and that they don't have a real life and 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 they have to watch every, uh they have to watch every little detail every little thing they do or say because you guys judge them for it when you shouldn't be judging people because you're just like them. You do the exact same thing. It's just your life isn't being vlogged 24-7. When they make a vlog, they're not vlogging their life from the, for 24-7. Like, they're not vlogging 24 hours worth of, of video for you and then going out there editing it into a 10-minute video. So what you see when they first get up saying, oh, Carter just woke up, um, let's go do this or that, and then, oh, we're having lunch now, and we went to, we're going to Disney World for the day, no, you may see them at, like, like, Charles, from CT, from CTFXC, he doesn't vlog until in the afternoon, they never vlog in the morning, they always vlog in the afternoon, always they start the vlog in the afternoon about one or two o'clock and at two o'clock they get out the camera and they're like hey what's up how are you sometimes they start the vlog at four and they say hey what's up we're gonna go do this or that and blah 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 and they don't need you to judge them and say oh you're doing this and that 
just because you see 10 minutes of them a day of them holding Carter. That doesn't mean they're holding Carter all fucking day. Because they're not in, because they didn't vlog like at 3 and, they didn't vlog like at 7 a.m. going, Hi everybody, let's start the vlog for today, and I'm holding Carter, and then, Hey everybody, it's lunchtime, I'm still hunting, hey everybody, it's dinner time, I'm still hunting, hey everybody, we're about to go to bed, I'm still hunting, no, they don't do that, they probably go from like 4 to maybe, for like an hour and probably vlog, or they probably vlog, if they're going to a theme park, they probably vlog that experience for like 2 to 3 hours, they don't, because people have lives. They got to make time to live their life, spend time with people, spend time. Because if they vlog the whole day, then what time would they have to edit the vlog and get it up for you the next day? Like, come on now. I just hope when you guys watch this video, you understand what you're doing. Plus, YouTubers, the big no-no is... Giving trolls and haters attention. When you go on your vlog and say, Hey, I've noticed some negativity in the comment section where you're bitching and complaining about me holding Carter all day. I just want to address it. You're addressing the trolls and the haters. You're giving them the attention that they want. So they're going to keep doing what they're doing and they're going to do it more and more and then you're going to get more than you usually get because they know that you're going to eventually get annoyed by it and address it. If you just ignore it, delete the comment, block them, they won't get the attention that they're looking for and they will move on and move somewhere else. That's just like Fousey right now is in the news because of KSI stuff and wanting to beat somebody up or tell them about this person that's doing things to women and doing steroids and all this other crap. He's, the tr haters and trolls are like, oh, they're, they're giving us what we want. They're giving us attention because they're starting a war and a fight and blah, blah, blah. Just stop and just vlog your day with no drama in it. Do you have to have drama in your, in your life to live your life? Come on now. I just... I, and that's why I notice a lot of people don't vlog most of the time because that's why Fuzi takes a lot of months off of vlogging because when he starts seeing a lot of hate and stuff, he don't want to do it no more. That's why the Shaytards quit because of all the hate. They don't want to do it anymore because they try to keep things secret because they don't want you to know their whole life story and then you all you know go out there on your own and google it and figure it out yourself that's kind of like stalking and that's you shouldn't do that to YouTubers. they're not actors what they are showing you is what is happening in their real life right then and there the day before and you guys need to respect that and just leave them alone and quit trying to stalk them and troll them and hate them. If you don't like them, just stop watching them. Nobody's making you watch them. Anyways, I'm going to get going. I hope you understand what I'm saying. And I um, just want to say go to Valentine's video. If I can remember, I will try to link you to it. She has great content and her point of view makes a lot of sense. And I'm Boney and Boney now leave me alone.